Vethaf laid at Lutovic's feet a loaf of binnen and elfin bread, thus granting humans rule over seat-yielding lands. ornate ceremonial bowls with elven wine. Gwynoe, the sweetest blood of the land that had been torn from me. Long last, the elven king grasped his sword and shield, thus symbolically passing command of his armies to humans. his final defeat. Lutovic then spake. I accept your allegiance and shall return in one year's time to... Ah! Look! Look! The statues! Impossible! God's mother! Sculptures, they came alive by what witchcraft? Dunno, specialize in killing monsters, reviving them, not so much. I, I may know what happened. The statues, you see, once stood in the palace of one Defethov. I acquired them a month past because uh, perhaps I should start at the beginning. This Devethev was to pay tribute to humans, producing statues of this sort each year. Yet he did so but once, for he perished in the massacre of non-humans at the foot of Mount Gorgon in the year 782. It's fortunate he did too, as Devethev had planned Lutovic's downfall, for he sculpted not statues, but columns that masqueraded as such. Columns activated with words said in homage. Columns that would have turned the king and his bodyguards into so much colorful confetti. Typical treachery embodied elves. Pshh. You're no better. Elves were just defending their territory. You humans took it, but you still weren't sated. Had to cut the elves down every last one. You? What does that mean? You're a man as we are. Yeah, in a way. Just a shame to have to admit it sometimes. Your words? They're wrong, Witcher. But I'll not let you leave empty-handed. 
Take this for your reward. Farewell. <laughs>